the tracking with the eyes is the main thing that we can visibly see. No more darting back and forth nonstop. Today we're all smiles, all of us. But why it took a $15,000 trip to China to get these results is still not clear to Melissa. Seems like the United States is like the only place that's not doing it. She says doctors here told her there's no hope and to boost his other senses instead. Now she has one word for those doctors. They are wrong. They were wrong. They were very wrong. They just took a needle and a couple of tubes and and then it was done. 30 minutes, that's all. It doesn't seem simple, it is simple. And as the days go on, they expect more progress to be made. So one day, Melissa will get the one thing she's always wanted, to have her son look at her and say, Mommy. He'll be able to do it. He'll do it. Puts a smile to your face. Well, next, Cameron will have to lay down in a hyperbaric chamber for 90 minutes, five days a week for three months. Meanwhile, the family is doing everything they can to teach people about umbilical stem cell treatment through their website that is different from the controversial embryonic stem cell treatment. You can get to the family's website through our website, NBC-2.com. Click on news links. Live in the studio tonight, Michelle Berto, NBC2.